So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a, a theoretical question or an, a more abstract question right now, Sheepy. Are you ready? Because mm -hmm. I don't want Great. you to give away any information, but mm -hmm. I need some scrim bucks, okay? Mm -hmm. And you are my scrim bucks ATM. You are Sheepy the ATM, okay? Mm -hmm. I need to make withdrawals of scrim bucks. Yeah, there are a thousand scrim bucks in the Sheepy ATM. Mm -hmm. Which team is getting which amount of scrim bucks? Hmm. So well, you have a scrim bucks to give me, and you have to distribute them between the teams. Can I distribute it on my on the main event groups or just on the playing groups? Uh, you can distribute them however you want. I mean, for sure, I would give them to the uh, LPL teams like RNG, EDG. You know, like. Being super dominant, uh, I think LNG is LNG uh, is fine as well. FPX is strong, so I mean, they can fight. Is there for anyone it. surprising? Like, is there anyone that would someone you wouldn't expect are actually doing way better than you know we anticipate? I mean, the thing is, probably we will also go over the players' groups a little bit. Yes, I, yeah, I don't know if course. you guys want to go through them. Like, uh, like no, I want you to answer my question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Overall, I have to say that the players yeah, and scrim bucks distribute them. <laughs> okay, so I will give half of my scrim bucks already all to the LPL teams. No, uh, mainly, no team by team. Okay, team so, by team. All right, so so five hundred are going to LPL teams now. Of those five hundred, yes. who's the strongest? Are you distributing them. Yeah, that is a really really good question. I'll write this down for you. I so mean, you the stylistic is so different. Yeah, the easiest answer would obviously just rank uh, like by ranking, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, but that's the entire debate there, isn't it? Because a lot of people still feel like even though EDG won the split, like spiritually, FPX yes. was supposed to be the best team in the world, weren't they? You know? Yes, and that <laughs> is, it's really difficult because Worlds is also always a different monster. I think that champ, uh, I mean, EDG is just such a stable, strong team, but the uh, FPX, I feel like, is a little bit more, more crazy. And it can really, like, with all the meta changes and so on, like, it can help. So. It's really difficult to say. I would say they are, for different reasons, like both extremely good. I would probably still put, I would probably still put my money on EDG just because consistency is key. But uh, you know, like I feel always there's one or two teams that are just surprising everybody and just getting super far, like Sunning and so on. Like way far. Of, I mean, you know, like people expected them to be so strong, but like I was really close though. Maybe you're a really yeah. bad ATM. Can you give me some money, please? This yeah, forever. Not, so you not have 500 on the LPL team. So how okay. are you distributing your scrim bucks? Okay, LNG, I would give 50. Okay, I'm sorry, LNG. They're they're <laughs> good, but they're not. Bucks? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. And then I would say, I would give EDG 200. I All would right. say. I would give FPX 150. All right. So you have 100 left. Well, 100 left. So I just give the 100 back to RNG. RNG, yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. And I'm, I mean, it sounds, honestly, it sounds like kind of like the seats are going, but I think since I don't have much more information like inside wise, like compared to words last year or because we just didn't have many scripts, uh, I mean, against those teams, mainly also because they arrived quite late and they, they have an internal structure of how who they're scrimming. Like scrimming, Asian teams is very difficult in general, unless you are first place ULCS team or something like that, like LEC team or something like this. Like it, it gets difficult. Or you have all the context, which I'm having, but I'm playing, you know, with the with first place LCL team. So it's like it's a different, you know, they wouldn't give us that many scrum bucks oh, if you course, if you yeah. know what I'm saying. All right, here's the thing. Now this is what we need though. Really, right? Listen, some people were interested in the LPL part, but really what people want to know is this. I'll just verbalize it. People yeah. want to know, like, for example, is Rogue, because everyone's just out on them because all oh, they played in the playoffs in EU. Is Rogue like actually really good in scrims or something? You know, like our teams like it's mad lines maybe you, over you, it. You, what do you, you think on that have, angle? Yeah. yeah. You still have five hundred scrim yeah. bucks. Does Rogue get any so who you scrim bucks? Does any NA team get some? You see what I mean? What, what who's getting the last of the scrim bucks? Who are you, how are you gonna distribute them? That's a good question. I think overall, mm, okay. I think that uh, Fnatic overall is super strong. Mm, but yeah, I mean, all of the LPL teams are strong. Damwon will definitely get like two hundred scrim uh, scrim bucks. I mean, so same Damwon, as EDG. Yeah, Damwon is so strong. I mean, Showmaker is such a good player. Like it's 
it's really, really, really insane. And I mean, that's why he got like, uh, you know, the main seed, uh, main uh, main role in the in the trailer as well. But so yeah, I'm super, yeah, exactly. I'm super. But you have 300 super. scrim bucks left. All right, for all of the rest of the teams. Yeah, so I yeah. think just. So I think just 200. Damn it. Yeah, I don't have that much hope for NA. So I think 100 thieves is fine. But I think after that it drops off a bit. TL, I mean, fine as well, but I'm not expecting too much. And I, I wouldn't give any to Cloud9. Like, nothing against Cloud9, but I don't have they too keep, many scrim they keep, they keep tweeting so, that they, like, make EU, like, rage quit scrims. Like, they've been bigging themselves up on Twitter. I know you haven't I mean, been probably that's just them, internet they're, they're group, problems but. or something like this. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> not rage to be honest, quitting. they make me rage quit fucking streams when I'm doing watch parties to watch them. Like, fucking, you know. See? So, uh, how much can be interpreted many say? ways. Exactly, can be interpreted many right. ways. No, no yes. scrim bucks for Cloud9. Uh, yeah. you, you don't sound convinced. How about Mad Lions? They're, they look uh, like a great team. Yeah. I don't know about their... I should I should really ask, like, underhanded a little bit more questions, but I'm just... I think I'm just too nice of a guy for that, or not underhanded enough. But uh, I think Mad Lions, uh, historically speaking, is one of, the, one of the most consistent organizations. I don't know how they will fare with the meta overall right now, because I think it's extremely snowball uh intensive and i honestly think that you like was not the best preparation for that because i think a lot of the the teams had like some difficulties like working stuff out uh, i mean for example Fnatic, who did a change from like top lane towards jungle uh was the most consistent team just because they had like a really uh I mean, after all of the changes, just a very good uh, team cohesion. Uh, people liked each other, worked on the on the same stuff. So Fnatic looked very strong and Rogue, just because they had no changes and were like super consistent as well. Like I feel like just consistency was key, and like even how strong as a team you are, like some of the organizations just fell apart. You know, like it was whoever like just was the most a team like from the teams. So yeah, I I think that the EU doesn't get many scrum bucks either. I would give them like eighty or something like this. Um, I know it's your yeah. rush to put a T1 in there, or you know, like you <laughs> yes. didn't fly I mean, up to the T1. Okay, I I don't know. Like I think uh, T1 gets for sure uh, some scrum bucks. They are, I think, they're really good. I'm super excited, obviously, for T1 personal you, reasons. You still have yeah. 300 scrim bucks left. You I've got a quick hypothetical scrim. question. Yes, Again, hypothetical. Who has to do that? Here's a question. <laughs> hypothetical, because yes. you would obviously never reveal private information. You respect Koreans very much. Hypothetically, <laughs> if I was basically ready to cheer for an AD carry for T1, would I be cheering for Teddy with the classic consistent game? Or would I cheer for Gomiyushi with the fucking the mechanics? What, what do you think I should be getting ready for? I mean, I... Don't know, so I can say that honestly oh, speaking. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Do you have a so suspicion of single player then? Uh, I think. I think they'll run Gumiyushi. That's what I think. Yeah, I I almost feel like that that could be a thing just because there's so much playable on the on the bot side. And honestly speaking, like they got the top lane quite hard. And overall, the nerfs and so on. So, like, there's some still champions that are very strong, and like other new champions being tried out, like Artrox and so on and so forth. But, like, overall speaking, bot lane is like is super strong. So, yeah, I feel like you you maybe need like more of an explosive player. And yeah, I mean, Teddy is very consistent. Like, honestly, if I could choose, like, if I have the decision between Teddy and Gumiushi, it's like, yeah, I probably would start with one, and then if I see that it's like. Not working out, I would go over to Teddy. But uh, I like uh, again, I have like zero insight exactly on how their scrim behavior is. T1 overall is, has always been very secretive about what they are doing. Yeah, well, this is this is a fun uh, Russian nesting doll of hypothetical questions. But to mm -hmm. return to your three hundred scrim bucks that you have, <laughs> what is the last quarter? <laughs> you saw yeah. three hundred, so you have to give uh, it to people. Yeah, they will go. I mean, two hundred from them will definitely go to the LCK. I think. You need uh, two hundred more because you Damon already yes. has two hundred. Okay. Yeah. So I think. So you have Gen G, Hanwha yeah, Life, no. and T One. Hanwha Life gets fifty. Wow! Really? All the money yeah. expected. 
Because I, I mean, what I like about uh, plans is that the teams that are participating there have like some time to actually play on official stage. And I feel like sometimes Asian teams can be a little bit slow. So it's like kind of an advantage. Obviously, there's a skill difference as well, but I always feel like it's a little bit, historically speaking, can be a little bit flippy. So yeah, I think there you get 50. I think, oh wait, I have only 200 more to give, right? You have, you have 300 in total, but you just gave 200 to all of the th remaining three LCK teams, which leaves you 100 scrim bucks for <laughs> everyone else who's not everyone Chinese else. or Korean. <laughs> that will... <laughs> <laughs> that's my be a little bit who's the one I team you pump it for I think uh, or two you could get two obviously I, from that if you want yeah I think I think Genji will do well I don't know about T1 I hope they do well but I just don't know so yeah I, it's kind of like how the seeding I mean I watched all of the playoff games as well and I, I overall feel that the playoffs kind of representing what they're doing I'm the only thing why I'm like struggling a bit is just because of all of the changes that has been happening uh, on the map, okay. especially in jungle. And I feel that can kind of mix up a little bit. Like the people that have the most versatile, like mid lane jungle duo, or like the team that can adapt the most, is like going to going to be able to step up. So there, there are like some surprises that are uh, uh, possible here. That's why I think that overall the FPL teams <coughs> will perform a little bit better than the LCK teams because LCK teams. I feel have always been, tended to play a little bit more structured, where it can be very difficult, and especially nowadays, everything one shots everyone. So yeah, I think like yeah, the highest chances. I mean, just to give my points away like this, because I think per team it's like a little bit difficult, since I also don't have so many insights into all of the scrim behaviors, especially from Asian teams. But yeah, I think that uh, most likely LPL teams will do extremely well. Uh, I think for EU teams it will be difficult, and I think Fnatic is. Probably with the practice that they're having in a pretty good spot, I feel, I feel them good. Um, I think, I mean, Rogue honestly will will show in the first games, but uh, yeah, it might be a little bit difficult. I think uh, Mad Lions, I don't know. I think it might be difficult too. Maybe that's like a little bit of a, maybe it's a personal take, but yeah, I I, I like the organization, all of them, but I think it might be difficult for them. So you, NA, you actually... I think it will be extremely difficult. I watched the the NA finals and all of the playoffs, and like, yeah, 100 teams looks fine, but it looks afterwards really difficult. <laughs> Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.